So who is he? He's Jones Beach. All right, YouTube. So since I ran out of pages in my sketchbook and my other sketchbook is miles away in another home, I decided to make a book review, which will be reviewing this Pokemon manga, which is called Pokemon Adventures Volume 2. This is the first manga I've ever read. I got it in um, autumn of 2021 when I went to a mall in the county I live in, which is a very nice mall. And I noticed this manga book that I thought would be interesting because I love Pokemon. But unfortunately, after reading it for like a few days, I lost the habit. But fortunately, over this past few months, I've gotten back into a reading and I really like this book. I found it very entertaining. Um, very like you know different from a lot of other graphic novels I've read because the style of reading it in reverse as opposed to American graphic novels but a separate story I really like the storyline of this book but um I'm forgetting a lot about that so this is not really going to be an adequate review but instead me doing an on-the-go spontaneous way of how Jones Beach would make a graphic novel so the first thing I'd start out with would be a character that I've created throughout many of my drawings and as you know, a lot of characters I draw have a lot of ink and tattoos, which I don't see in a lot of superhero characters, or at least not the hero. So I think that could be a cool change up, and I may be a little biased in that sense since I have a few, but I've decided that the hero of this story will be the Crow Husky, which is a drawing I made. And, and yes, this Husky character is based on 20 Pretty Husky, who does make these amazing beats, not necessarily for me, but these beats on YouTube that I absolutely love and love using for music. So. Two thumbs up for you, I hope you like this video. But I'll display the drawing of that character right here. So as you can see, he has a similar but different style to a lot of other superheroes because I gave him sort of a gothic, edgy, grunge kind of vibe, which did kind of go viral or glow, well not viral, I don't know what I'm saying, but go big recently and become a lot of a big theme with the movie The Batman, which definitely had emo Bruce Wayne, which I thought was a step in the right direction because although I did think Christian Bale had the best Bruce Wayne performance, I did think that an emo Bruce Wayne actually made a lot of sense and I thought Robert Pattinson's Batman was really cool too, but um, you know, as I'm thinking, I'll probably make a review for that movie pretty soon. But I wouldn't want to make Husky's character too similar to Batman, so the difference between this character and other vigilantes is everyone knows who he is. And as you can see, he has candles, which are his signature, sort of his bat symbol when people light candles or a very specific candle that he has and that's very unique that the police department also has access to, similar to the bat signal. But once he notices one of those candles is up, that's his bat light in the sky and he knows he needs to be called. Or rather, it's his calling, I should say. And as you can see, Husky has a very cool sense of style as he has that cool hat, the spiky hair, the sick trench coat which I look forward to wearing as you can see I have my Jones Beach hoodie in this vlog but um yeah I'm definitely looking forward to autumn fashion video for another day of course but um yeah he's also got lots of rings unlike me but um he also has a lighter for his cigarettes and cigars which I don't do but I think it's super cool and his aesthetic and vibe and sort of gives him the anti-hero kind of vibe because not necessarily for smoking but generally he's kind of an anti-hero with his lack of powers and some of his tactics he uses to find out information on the criminals he's hunting so that's all i'll say for now is this is how jones beach would make his first graphic novel a million ideas have spiraled in his head as they often do but um yeah anyways thank you for watching stay tuned for more soon goodbye Park.